All right, let's talk about sanding. So this has been sanded a little bit. As you can see that um, I brought it down to a point where it is. Let's see if I can hold it up and you guys can see it right there. Focus, focus, maybe focus. Um, either way, sand it a little bit, but it's not looking good. In fact, you can kind of tell just by, as I rotate it around, you kind of see the hack marks that I made. We want to nice, sand it nice and smooth. So we're going to start out with this guy. Um, I want to sand it down to as sharp a point as possible. I'm going to start out with this uh, 150 grit. And I really, ideally, just want to sand it down so that I get rid of all the little ridges. And if you notice, I have sandpaper. You guys will have even a sanding block, which is even better. I'm just using a thing of sandpaper and I'm placing it against the table and rotating it around and around. If I push too hard, right, at an angle, I'll break the lead. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to rotate it as I go back and forth really lightly, like so. so you can kind of see it coming off like that. But that's just going to sand it nice and even so that I don't, when I shade with it, I don't get any really inconsistencies. It'll be nice and smooth on all sides. Okay, awesome. So that looks a little bit better. Not ideal, but great. Um, we also want to have a nice sharp point. And we can get a much sharper point with sandpaper than we can with a regular sharpener. Um, so I'm going to now hold it slightly at an angle, not totally at an angle, but slightly at an angle. And you'll notice as I go back and forth, this is 600. So that way I don't cut away too much, but this is 600 sandpaper. If I go, keep on going and going and going and going, and sand, I'm just rotating it every time I hold it, run it back and forth. You'll notice if I keep on sanding it, I will get down to a nice sharp point that is nicely tapered as well. Let's go a little bit further. Notice you will focus on the pencil. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. You'll notice right there, you can see how sharp that is. In comparison to, say, a pencil sharpener, right, it just doesn't do it as well. So we use the sandpaper to get a nice sharp point. And I can get this to the point where it is so sharp that, that you wouldn't want to, like, touch it to your hand because it would draw blood. And that's how sharp we want it. Just don't stab anyone with it, okay? But that's that's looking pretty good. And you can take um, like a cloth or something and just wipe it off and it'll take all those excess things. But that's looking pretty good. I can keep on sanding it if I want so that it's nicely tapered. Notice that it's kind of at an angle here and then go straight. If I want it to be perfectly tapered so it just goes like slowly to the point, you could do that too. But Anyway, that is how we sharpen our pencil really, really finely. Okay. Ta-da.